Okay, I've got small campers, big campers, Volkswagen campers, coach builds, A classes, overkeb campers. I've got all types of motorhomes, camper vans, and A classes here for you to buy. Ooh, what are you doing? Kicking the tyres. I like this one. What's your best price? What's your best price for cash? Can you do five grand off that for us? Could I take it today? Excuse me. Excuse me. These are the questions you don't ask a motorhome dealer in 2021. The game has changed. Why? So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the best way to buy a motorhome from a motorhome dealer. So we've explained to you what to do when you're going looking for a motorhome private. It's pretty much along the same lines as when you go to a dealer. The only difference is you won't have to and you shouldn't have to do the checks such as the HPIs and the VOSAs because the dealer's already done it for you, haven't they? Exactly, yeah. HPIs, VOSAs. And the big thing is the services. Yeah, so when you buy from a dealer, you should be getting the service, you should be getting it all checked off. They should be showing you all the appliances and, and everything working and going around and showing you basically how the motor home works, isn't it really? Yeah, so it's called a PDI, isn't it? So what they do is they go around the van, they make sure everything's working and on the day, they'll do a demonstration of what it is or the better way for me now is they'll do a video demonstration which shows you everything working, then you've got it on file for life. So, and if you need to see an example of obviously um, of a motorhome up for sale, showing you all the 360s, showing you video of it. If you go onto a company, there's a company called Caravans and Campers who sell motorhomes and they'll show you all the different options and the ways uh, obviously to buy it. I've never heard of them. Oh, right, okay. Now, your next thing is coming onto the dealership. It's completely changed. So the videos that you've watched before on how to come to the dealership, how to go and look in as many motorhomes as you want, is to go and haggle and to go and do all these different things. Ain't happening anymore now, is it, Shane? No, there's just it's such... Not now, in no, this no. moment. No, no, there's just such a shortage of stock and it's not going away anytime soon. Forget all these people who are giving the advice that everything's going to crash at the end of the season when it can go abroad. The shortage is monumental. There's dealers that should have 80 in stock that are down to like 10, 15. That doesn't take six months a year to replace. Otherwise, they'd have done it over this winter, wouldn't they? And the problem is that all the new stuff that's meant to be coming through, the Fiat's, the Ford's, because of the chips that are, are in such a short demand, the chassis cabs and so on, you just cannot get hold of them at all. And that's gonna last for years to come because you've got such a shortage in manufacturers uh, producing them. And now we've talked in other videos of how the prices are high, they aren't high because the, the dealers are still buying them at these low prices and taking advantage of everybody, it's because they're having to buy them at higher prices because the people who wanted to buy the new vans can't buy the new vans anymore and having to buy the second hand vans and the people who haven't got motorhomes who normally go away are now buying the second hand vans as well, so the shortage is monumental. Exactly, yeah, I mean there's, there's, there's word of some of the bigger dealers have had as much as 50% of their new stock that's meant to be coming through cut. And they've probably never made so little in each unit because the margins are just getting squeezed. So, you know, when you go up and ask for that, that discount, it just isn't there to do it. And they're in a lucky position where, just because you're looking at that motorhome there, there's probably another two or three other couples looking at the same motorhome as well. So it's not gonna help you when you go up there saying, what's your best price for cash? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a few people I've seen that have done this. They've, they've said, oh, you wouldn't do me 500 pound now, off. Then the next day they've got upset because it sold to someone else. <laughs> if you don't buy it, somebody else will. Yeah, and also because of restrictions that are into place, you're gonna struggle to just to turn up at a dealership and go and looking in all the different motorhomes because obviously they've got to sanitise all the different motorhomes as well. Yeah, there's a lot of dealers that are doing like our uh, appointment slots where you've got the access to three motorhomes that you've pretty much already chose, for example, and you get to really narrow it down before you get there and just finalise your decision on the day. And there isn't the staff there to actually be with you and go around and show you all the different motorhomes as well. So you need to do your own work first. Right, so on something like this, what's your warranty from a dealer? Warranty will be a 12 month warranty, probably with a warranty company as well. So the dealer does have to pay for that warranty. And also in order to get that warranty and to keep it all going right, the vehicle has to go out properly, such as it has to be served, it has to be checked off. Yeah, I mean, something like this is 69 plates, so it's 18 months old. It's an eldish, so a standard, it's got the 10 year warranty. A bit like we've said in the private buying uh, video, 
if you miss one of those services four to six weeks out of the registration date when you're servicing it, that 10 year warranty is gone. So don't think because it's not done any miles or not because you're not doing any miles, that it, you're still gonna have some sort of warranty because that ain't gonna happen. Also to finance your motor home, there's a few ways to finance your motor home with a dealer that you're not gonna get private because if you're paying private, you're gonna have to pay the money then and then. So your other options are, yeah, you can just go into a dealer, you finance it against the car, for example, and uh, well, car or motor, own caravan, whatever it is, rather than having to get a separate bank loan to do it. You just get got that, that accessibility with them being such big ticket items to get a bit more finance and buy something a bit more expensive. So just because you've got the cash to go and buy a motor home, don't expect to walk into a motor home dealer and say, what's your best price for cash? Because it's not going to happen because obviously the demand. Um, but, you know, as we said earlier, the thing that you do get from a dealer is you just get that peace of mind. You do get that comeback. There's something called a Consumer Rights Act 2015, which the uh, dealers will hate you mentioning. Um, but that means if anything goes wrong, you have got the legal rights to, uh, to reject the vehicle effectively. So, don't forget, when you're going to buy a motor home from a dealer, pretty much the same as a private, go around the outside just checking off. Take into account it's not a new vehicle because there will be the odd dinks. So if you're expecting it to be a perfect van from a dealer, a second-hand one, it won't be, so go and buy a brand new vehicle. Yeah, they're, they're not that uh, perfect car that you're going to buy. You know, you, there's a, Cars are easy to pull dents out yeah. of. Motor homes are a different level. The big, they lived in, they're going to get dents. Don't forget as well, if it is going to be your first motor home, don't go and blow the budget on your first motor home because it's not going to be the, the right motor home for you because it's going to take you three or four motor homes to actually get the right motor home. So don't listen to what everybody says because everybody has different ways of motor homing and going away. So your first motor home tend to stay well within budget because guarantee you're probably in about 12 months time if you enjoy the motor home, you're going to move to another motor home. Yeah, and finally, a bit like you said a minute ago, do your checks. Personally, I'd still get my damp meter, I'd still go around them if I'm buying privately just to make sure because the dealers could miss them and it just causes problems down the line. So if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the Motor Home and Caravan channel and hit the like button for us. And don't forget to... Uh, it's Motor Home. We check five from less than that. Six from less. I want to buy it today. I want to take it. Don't forget to subscribe, ignore him. The other one. How about this one? Um, um, see, I've converted them all to motor home and caravan gurus. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the like button. Why are you humming? Mm. 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 Mm.